It's showtime. The D-Rock and welcome back to more of Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Last time, we went through more of the Panda King Stronghold, and we found out that the last safe won't open. Looks like we have to come back for that another time. <sighs> Anyway, this time, we're going to be finishing off um, with this by heading into Rapid Fire Assault. Get that off my chest. Just go back and see the second Incredibles movie. And I have to say... This vehicle is identical to the one you found in Ms. Ruby's lair. Someone with some serious high-tech skills must be provided... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, as I was saying... Those of you guys uh, that were saying that the second Incredibles movie was bad, you guys are all friggin' liars. It is awesome. <laughs> Bust them open. King? Panda King? No offense and all, but... A little bit on the jerkish side, but... I find you quite honorable. I like that. Alright, here they go. Let's go. So I need to ask, who uses babies as projectiles? And they call this a rarity for everyone. It's like a whole bunch of baloney. Bah, freaking baloney. So they do something, right? There we go. Seriously, who uses babies as projectiles? About a douchebag! No, 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 That's not nice. But you know what is nice, though? It's a little something that I like hate to call a... I'm never gonna get tired of that. In fact, now that I'm thinking about it, I just gotta say that one last time. And I think that might just be it. And sorry, buddy, but your time here is over. A desperate race. Oh, good, another race. 
Murray, what are you doing down there? Well, I'm minding my post when I notice a snow cone stand, and I think to myself, hey, Murray, you gotta keep your energy up. So I hurry over here, and then all of a sudden, monkeys are everywhere, bugging me to race them three times around this track for a key. We could use the key. Think you could take them? Come on, Sly, they're a pack of monkeys. How can I lose? All right, remember, steer with the left stick and press square to use any nitro boosts you collect. Keep clear of those icy patches. Thanks for the advice, Sly, but trust me, I got this under control. Okay, same rules as applied, but this time you gotta deal with some ice physics. Shouldn't be that bad, but... Can't be too careful, especially since, well, ice physics is not the best thing ever. And I somehow missed that. Get out of my way, butto! Alright. Go! There we go. Yeah! Alright. Alright, slide. Here we go. Out of my way, chum! Yeah! Oh boy. Come on. Whoa, got some air. Out of my way! I'm down to the final lap, and that guy's got some distance, and that's not good. I'd rather not embarrass myself on the final lap, and I'm about to be doing so good. Crap. Yeah, I think you might have won this one. It's freaking icy terrains. Fair. Yeah, I think he kind of took the win on this one. Yep, he did. Those stupid monkeys. They got lucky and beat me. I'm just not to driving on the wrong side of the road. Wrong side of the... Just get the key, Murray. Alright. Let's try it again. Let's try to stay on the inside. I said inside, not outside. So note to self, stay on the inside. And slam them into a wall. Yeah! This guy is mine. He goes, oh, whoa, crap. Crap. I got cocky. I got cocky. Balls. Is this gonna be one of those? Oh wow! I went from third to fourth on the second lap. What is going on? Okay, you know what? I gotta restart the race because that's not gonna help me at all. Okay. Okay. Third time's the charm. So far, the charms have not been kind to me as of yet. But I'm feeling pretty lucky this time. Alright. Do it on a spot where I won't get stupid. Take that. I'm not going to use it. This part. Right here. Yeah! This guy. This stupid monkey ass. Gimme, 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 gimme. I'm coming, I'm coming for you, monkey baby. Yeah, it is. Last lap. 
Sorry, buddy. But this time, I'd say eat my dust. Oh, wait. I'm actually kicking up dust. I was actually going to say, You're about to eat my snowflakes! <laughs> okay. Get cocky now. So plenty more to the race where you can potentially screw up and you'll look uh, stupid in front of some people. But not this time! Yeah! Now, go get that key. Summon keys! Let us unlock the ultimate firework! Flame Foo! I see you carry Kane of Notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the devious Raccoonus? That was my plan at first, but now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? You are a thief, just like me. No, that's only half right. I am a thief from a long line of master thieves, while you, you're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Insolent child, you shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique, Flame Foo. Alright, basically what we need to do is you need to find a way up there and... Fiery Wheel! Fiery Wheel! Bye. This guy's not very subtle huh, for how he's gonna launch his attacks, and he's actually considered to be the one hand that I find to be the easiest. Fiery wheel! Bombs of thunder! Fiery wheel! See, this guy's pretty easy. He even announces his attack just before he, you know, hits you. Booming chop! Booming chop! See, I'm not even putting up much of a fight with this guy. Booming chop! Um. Come on, uh, panda baby! Fiery wheel! Your skill with that cane is unparalleled. <coughs> Sly, I did a cross analysis of the metal used in that high-tech blasting vehicle, and it turns out it can only be found in one place, the Krakatoa volcano in Russia. That's got to be where we'll find the fifth member of the Fiendish Five. So get what you came for and let's get out of here! Retrieving the Panda King section of the Thievius Raccoonus gave me a chance to learn about my technically minded ancestor, Otto Van Cooper. Not known for his physical dexterity, Otto relied on vehicles to aid him in his criminal endeavors. Armed with his designs, I was sure Murray would be able to make some cool modifications to the team van. A frustrated Inspector Fox, having missed me coming down the mountain, threw the Panda King in jail, thus putting an end to his avalanche protection services and ensuring the safety of mountain villages throughout China. My gang and I took a little time off and did some shopping in Hong Kong. Thoroughly relaxed, we headed home to plan our next move. Okay, so before we head on back, there is one last thing I want to double check. 
and that is uh, back at the Flaming Temple of Flames. Now, I just want to just quickly confirm that nothing will change that when we get to save. All right, one second. Okay. I want to turn. Unfortunately, this vault code appears to have been written in owl dialect. Okay, partner, this is it! A trip to Clockwork's lair! We were on our way to the Krakarov volcano in Russia. While looking over what little information I had on the final member of the Fiendish Five, I began to notice something. In the four parts of the Thievius Raccoonus recovered so far, several of the pictures depict a shadowy owl-like figure, which looks very similar to the police images of the mysterious Clockwork. Is this a strange coincidence? Or is there something I'm missing? Sly Cooper in the cold heart of hate. Yeah, I kind of wasted a lot of time of going back on that mission. Hey, Sly! The road to Clockwork's fortress is blocked. Do me a favor and shoot out that lock for me, would you, pal? So, in other words... Whoa! Check out all those mines! Think you can blow them away and clear a safe path for us? So, it turns out I have to defeat this... You have to finish up with this last part before we can go any further. Alright, who's next? Bingo! My scanners indicate the clockwork is holed up in that owl-shaped tower. First things first, we've got hostile Robo Falcons at 12 o'clock, Sly! Oh boy. Well, that's no tower, it's a giant death ray! Sly, take out those rocks or we're in trouble! They said they were owls. Sheesh, there's mines everywhere. And also, I'm just gonna kind of say it. Let me reach closer to the boss here. Wait till you guys are here. This, this guy's voice. for the turret to make it all the way through. Oh. Oh. We've got to get through that security door on the far side of the cavern. The only way to unlock it is to analyze at least 60 of those hanging computers. Would have been easy to get at them if Murray hadn't thrashed our new turret. Yeah, won't be a problem. I can hack the computer's connection coupling so they'll fall to the ground. Then, Murray will have to run over them with the van. Okay, and Murray, remember to use our new battering ram by hitting the square button if anyone tries to keep you from those computers. Murray, there are only 119 computers up there, and these fire slugs seem intent on getting to them before us. The first one to 60 computers wins! Oh boy. 
Daring rescue. Careful, Sly! Those tiles are booby trapped! You better get out of there! Hold on. That's Carmelita. She looks trapped. Serves that cop right. She's been dogging us from the start. It's just a misunderstanding. We've got to free her. Are you crazy, Sly? Clockwork probably stuck her there to trap you! But if I don't do anything, Carmelita's doomed. Besides, Stealing just won't be any fun without her. Sly, your ridiculous raccoon logic sends shivers up my shell. But if you're determined to go through with this, that barrel will undoubtedly help. Though I have no idea how you'll get up there. Dude, a spire jump here, a rail slide there. I've done this a million times. Oh boy. Do that. You know what? I don't know. Yep. <sighs> Maybe I'll mom just extend this hope. Well, I guess that's our way back up. Oh. I Ow. Right. <laughs> Oh, what happened? What? What? There we go. Sometimes this circle button doesn't want to work. Maybe I'm just not close enough for it or something. Yeah. Yeah. Over now. Nope. Hip. Yep. There we go. Okay. Now I don't know what I'm. Now I don't know what I'm doing. Crap. I spoke way too soon. This is gonna be rough. I got myself in a bad spot that night. Wait, what? Crap! Uh, I am hoping that this does not start with me all the way back from the very beginning if this is the case. Because if it does, oh my god! Yeah. I don't mind extending the video a little bit longer if I need to. So we'll see how it goes. 
Okay. Alright, just gonna do this very slowly. Give me that barrel. Hope, hope we try it. Okay, thank God. Why did I get a lucky charm? Oh, it's probably because I died too many times on this. All right, all right, all right. I promise I'm not doing that on purpose, guys. And also, who needs a barrel up here? Got an idea. So I can go off the left this time. Okay. Go! Alright! Cool! Uh, should I or shouldn't I? You know what? Yeah, I think right here's a good place for us to stop it here. Alright? So, anyway, next time on Sly Cooper and the Raccoonus, we end this last play once and for all by taking on Clockwork. See you guys then.